hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another brand new playlist and in this playlist we are going to talk about how to crack the javascript interviews i was getting a lot of comments on my previous playlist that uh, content is good enough but they need they want to have some more videos on how to crack uh, javascript interviews like some coding questions some interview questions so we will divide these javascript interview questions into different sections let's say you are a fresher you are a you are having an experience of two plus years you are having an experience of six plus years and you are having an experience of uh, around 10 plus years of experience right and you are all in the javascript domain and then you wanted to know like how to prepare and what uh, what you should have before you appear in the javascript interview i mean fresher it's like uh, you are just a freshly graduate from some university from a bachelor of technology or some other degree which is in the technical domain and you are looking for a particular job in that domain maybe let's say you are good at node.js or the front end or web development then you can look for javascript stack of uh, technologies and you are a fresher that means you don't have any prior experience of working in the industry so your experience is zero years but i will recommend that uh, every university provides the internship kind of thing uh, in the middle of your graduation so you should always opt for getting the graduation from a good source so that you can get an exposure of even working for a couple of months on some it projects and there you will understand how the things works not just like a simple poc project which you do or some final year poc projects which you do in your colleges so it's time to get out of that mood and start learning some new concepts because uh, with the zero plus years of experience and in this competitive market where uh, not thousand uh, maybe in millions the people are getting graduated and they are looking for the jobs in the indian it market or outside because if you're looking for the private job you are inside a pool where a lot of people are are your competitor and obviously we have a limited human resource it's not like companies are hiring a thousands it's not like tcs wipro infosys those companies are hiring every year hundreds of thousands so you are uh, looking for the private job and then in that case your concept should be clear i mean nobody expects you to write a code write a product app just on the first day you what you understand in your uh, college days is the basic programming skills either using c c plus plus or in these days we, uh, we are also teaching some modern programming, uh, which is a Node.js, uh, I mean, a JavaScript client side, server side, or uh, any kind of framework which you have used already and know about it to build the, the front end web app. These days, uh, because it's open world and we have a lot of learning content floating here and there, and people are intended to learn more and more so you will get a more exposure on working on any of these languages java javascript node.js go python you can choose uh, any of it based on your learning experience and based on your hobbies some people likes writing javascript some some likes writing python uh, I, I never liked writing python in, in my career uh, I like JavaScript. Maybe I started my career with uh, Java, and in down to this twelve years of experience, uh, I spent initial years with Java, and then after that, I'm just totally into JavaScript. Anything or everything in JavaScript, not just okay tool or technology or a framework. Now JavaScript is a the big tool set, right? There you you can learn anything. Now uh, you will start looking for the good content uh that is also depends on how much you are learning how you are learning and because you are a fresher you should have a nice and clean resume pointing out your skills and the, the content which you have learned throughout the the period because i know university courses doesn't teach in depth of these things most of the things which we learn there are obviously not going to be used in your career for getting the job that's uh, the blunt truth because whatever we learn there mathematics and all these things are fine now um, my target for this uh, playlist is javascript developers who are two to three years of three years of experience or more than three years of experience and looking for the job then because now you already have experience you you already worked on the react or angular or node.js i'm talking in javascript domain or just uh, routes anything in javascript 
just do did uh, some web development with the help of these modern tools tailwind or maybe you wrote your own style style framework or you use the bootstrap and you use just uh, vanilla css with the flexbook saying did you build modern web apps right in that case always there is a requirement of uh, developers either using some of the framework knows the client side of javascript server side of javascript like building the web apis or building the server side the apis either in the rest or graphql now in javascript uh, most of the things what happens there will be a one on one interview in the first round and then second round will be a coding assignment third round will be uh, some of the architecture discussion to drill down you your deep down concepts how you learn things so one to one is just like a maybe a simple oral discussion where in the interviewer will throw you some questions on javascript node js or react whatever the framework you are good at you have previous projects whatever you have worked on so you should have a good understanding in explaining what is your current project you have worked on the architecture of it the tools the technologies the team size and how you work in the agile environment what was your roles and responsibilities because people sometimes not even able to explain the product if you are able to explain me the product and your roles and responsibility i would get a clear picture okay what should i ask you because what tools you have worked on the other thing is coding assignment coding assignment can be anywhere can be from anywhere like hacker rank they can just send you the react or uh, angular or node js coding assignment or a, a customized coding assignment with the node js react or angular i mean front and back end questions that can happen through any of the web app any of these tools like hacker rank uh, top quarter code chef or these days there are many websites which provides these uh, uh, virtual interview environment because uh, after this covid most of the interviews ha are happening offline i mean online not face to face uh, physically present in the office and they are they are using these smart tools to gather the information about the the candidate how he is about one particular technology and a uh, lot of frauds also happen so just be cautious be present be focused and you give your 100% honest response because if you are just faking the interviews taking the hell obviously they are going to aware about it so core skills of programming should be good in javascript or maybe i will say the advanced javascript you must be aware about the closures the prototypal inheritance the deep down concepts of javascript not just okay how to create an object how to create a class and uh, at this stage now everybody is using typescript must have knowledge of typescript is good and in core skills uh, there are uh, i mean how you define the core skills you just you are just using javascript just using some framework react angular and sometimes we don't even know the javascript in the right way if somebody talks, talks about okay what is recursion or what is the the closures what is curry functions a lot of people not able to answer then core programming core programming i'm not talking about data structure algorithm there will be just a simple question uh, something like okay i'm giving you this string as an input and you write a function and take this input as a string and give me the longest substring having same sequence characters let's say this uh, this is a string so output will be a a a uh, which is coming uh, seven times so this is the longest subsequence having common characters this can be a simple function so this function is not to test your data structure algorithm knowledge it can be done with just a simple array or something and you just need to know how the recursion works or basic programming skills to understand how much you know about all those things and then there will be a basic questions or some advanced level questions in the core and then they will ask you to write code and the, the code write will be based on how much you know and the questions are random let's say the basic problem recently i saw or somebody was asking let's say there is a uh, there is a problem statement where the you have been given an input of domain subdomain abc.com abc.hello.com abc.google.com app.google.com app.hello.google.com and there is already a, a site hit like okay this site got 100 hit 200 hit 300 hit now what i need what you need to give us as output that okay abc.com got these many hits google.com got these many hits so you need to split these subdomain also into individual domain like abc.com app.google.com is app.google.com google.com and .com there are three domains are inside it 
so let's say abc.com or google.com how many hits so you will count 700 plus 600 that is the output for google.com the number of hits on google.com similarly abc hello.com or abc.com uh, abc.com is only 50 so and dot com is the sum of all the counts will be the dot com count okay now this is a pretty much simple you, you will just uh, play with the strings you will split it you will uh, get the each and every domain then you will count and you will make a temp temporary mapper object to keep keep the count but this question is interesting because this will help you to explore the basic programming skills about the candidate and the candidate if candidate is aware and has done these kind of programming i mean it's not a data structure he is the interviewer is not asking you to reverse a linked list or reverse a tree or do some graph exercise in just a plain javascript question and if you are able to do it easily nicely or even struggles the interviewer is already able there to help you but you should write code understand the programming statement divide and conquer first divide this problem statement in small chunks and try to do as much as you can that is all about writing code and then when it comes to the experienced interview uh, more than like six plus years of experience then they are going to ask you the design patterns the architecture pattern what all tools and technologies you will use for a particular problem that can be just a general discussion then in-depth questions about Node.js architecture, the weird runtime engine, how the JavaScript works, the promises, async await, uh, JavaScript is single threaded, then how it does all those processing, the bundling, chunking, all the different concepts of uh, JavaScript. And the, if there is assignment, then also it will be a good set of questions. For the basic two plus years of experience, if you already have an AWS experience or experience about different dot database, that's a good like MySQL, NoSQL, MongoDB, DynamoDB, Cassandra or AWS you are aware about some of the components uh, which you have worked like CloudFront, S3, EC2 and some of the good SNS, SQS or serverless components if you have done the Lambda, API Gateway, DynamoDB or some of the other developer component from AWS that's good uh, you can also try for the practitioner certificate that will help you to to showcase your skills on AWS. So that's all about uh, like how you can project yourself through the resume. Always keep your resume clean. Don't put too many things. I have seen the resume. If I saw that resume, I will just drop it because you, you are, we are a human and we can be focused on a one particular set of area or one particular set of technology. Just be honest and give your 100%. So in this playlist, I'm going to talk about the hacker rank certification uh, questions and how to crack these uh, assignments how to approach the assign online assignments given to you and how to crack these coding questions which were being presented to you just before the interviewer okay uh, thanks everyone